Hello Fab Five. A special request, I have been asked to make a video on what happened today. First thing, obviously the weather. Second, why my hair looks like this. So I gotta show you a couple couple pictures first and what happened today, March 31st, 2011, around noon. <laughs> Actually it was pretty much an all day event. Classes were canceled and everything. Okay, um, right. I'm going to get down to. Oh my God, Nelly said, "Tell us what happened." Okay, so what happened was there was this storm, huge, huge storm, lots of wind, lots of like other nastiness. It was coming in from the west coast. I got text messages from the school. They woke me up at 7 a.m. this morning just to say, oh, there's a tornado warning. Blah, 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 tornado watch. Uh, we still have classes, though. <sighs> anyway, I go to my 8 a.m. Almost fell asleep. I didn't have breakfast because I woke up late. And my 8 a.m. doesn't let out early. And then I have a class right after that at 9.55. Not only did my 8 a.m. class not end early, they also ended late. So I had to rush over to my next class. That wasn't very fun either. Good thing my 9.55 class ended at like 11. I'm just glad that we left early for the next reason. I got my lunch at like 11 o'clock. Then I went to Shannon's room to go watch the news about the weather because we still had tornado warnings slash watches. We're in her room. Watching the news. All it is, is the weather. What? So there's this storm. It's, it's still out in the gulf. It's still out that way. It doesn't, doesn't look so bad. It's, it's, it's still far off coast. This is 11 o'clock. Let's go with 1110. Let's go with it. Off the coast. It didn't hit Lakeland. Not yet. It was swirling out in the middle of the ocean, but storms like these die out as soon as they hit land. But this storm wouldn't quit. It's now 11.30. This storm has already passed over Tampa. It is going that fast. Me and Shannon decide, hey, music department is a really good place to, to hang out if there's a tornado warning slash watch slash, oh my god, there's a tornado outside, run for the hills. Or in the, or the bathroom. I think to myself, okay. My building is just one building over, so I have time. Cool, I have time. So I come here, grab my laptop, grab my nook, I grab some homework, I shove it on my backpack. When I left Shannon's room, it was barely drizzling outside. The storm was in two parts. One very small little sliver about this big, and a little space, and we connected like a little, little patch of clouds like this, and then the big old thing. As soon as the little thing passed, and there was this little space in between, I left for my room. It only took five minutes to, to walk over here, pack all my stuff, and go out the door. This space had already passed. And so the big old storm, where the wind is the strongest, had, had already starting its trek over Lakeland. So, I'm out with my umbrella. It is torrential rain, pouring, wind going everywhere and at me, and thunder, lightning, etc. As soon as I pass the other building, wind starts blowing really hard at me, so I do this. Bad plan. It starts collapsing inward. So I go, okay, I uh, gotta fix this, stay calm. While I was doing that, some other wind came to the side and started blowing the umbrella back to normal, but instead of blowing it back to normal, it blew inside out. Oh, crap. Holy crap, the thunder and the lightning happened at the same time. So this thing was like right over my head. I got, I freaked out. Screw it. My umbrella is not going to get fixed. It's already retarded. Little like metal things broken on the inside. So I'm not going to, so I'm not going to fix this on my, on my, on my walk because I want to get out of the rain as soon as possible. So I swing the umbrella over my shoulder. I'm walking and then the lightning and the thunder happen at the same time. Again, that was hella loud. And then it happens again. I'm like, run to the music building. I'm out. I am heading right into 
the wind. My backpack's heavy, and I have this umbrella thing whoo, out of the in the wind and three, four feet long. And it's broken, so it makes it like six feet long. I'm running with my heavy backpack against the wind, against the rain. I'm guessing like 40, 50 miles an hour. So I'm running to the music building. As soon as I get to like the, sh the hooded area, like the like covered area, I have a hat. I'm soaking wet. Umbrella over my shoulder. Looks like a victory flag. I'm thinking to myself, oh yeah, victory is mine, bitches. Okay, so I go downstairs. Everyone is in the hallways. The music building is the prime place to hang out if there's a tornado. They see me coming in with my umbrella looking like a flag. <laughs> me soaking wet with a backpack and a cap <laughs> with a big smile on my face. And they go, and they go, oh my god, is it really that bad outside? Ha ha ha. Well, I felt so epic. Adrenaline's coming back. Oh my god. Okay. Just thinking about it, it's making my it's making the adrenaline start pumping again. So everyone's like, woo, close together because oh my god, it's really there's like a tornado warning outside, so we should stay inside the hallway. I felt like a friggin' cosplayer. When people saw me walk into that building, walk into that hallway, sopping wet, umbrella turned inside out, looking like a flag, with a big smile on my face, they thought, hmm, can I take a picture of you? Oh my god, you look so funny! Why have you an umbrella? Um, okay, imagine if you're the only person dressed in costume at a convention. If you can imagine it, that's how I felt. I need to show you my umbrella. What's left of it anyway. Yeah, this and the little polyester thing, whatever the the umbrella cover thing is made out of, that and this are the only thing that's left. But yeah, it's a lot lighter than I expected it. I think that's it. I learned something about myself today. Becky and Norma, do you remember that one time that mom and dad were working outside with the, um, the when they were putting on the tiles and it started raining and there was like really close thunder and lightning and stuff? Remember after this one lightning strike, it wasn't even half a second and then there was thunder? When this whole thunder and lightning at the same time thing happened right over my head, this is awesome. I'm going to go inside and I'm going to go back inside now. But no. That didn't happen to me. What happened was, okay, wow, that is really close. Just go. And the second time it happened, I was like, okay, okay, that that is still really really close. Third time, oh my god, it it freaked me out. I don't love fear. Fear gets everybody down. I realized I do not like it. When thunder is right, when lightning and thunder is right over my head, and there's a torrential rainstorm, and my umbrella's broken. Good thing I didn't hail, because I would have been really pissed off. There were a couple tornadoes that touched the ground. Not, not in Lakeland, but near Lakeland, like a little bit south. Here's Lakeland, and then here's Mulberry, and then here's Bartow. One hit Mulberry, and one hit Bartow. Um, there wasn't any damage that 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 um that I knew about that was at school, but um. We did lose power. Yeah. I'm gonna also put the labels on the little pictures. Okay. Bye.